Hi, in today's tutorial we're going to talk about changing tempos in GarageBand on the Macintosh. To begin, go to your top menu and under Track, select Show Tempo Track. And now you'll see the tempo track indicating a tempo of 79 for this Bach piece. This is the opening movement to the Magnificat. And you can see on the right side here at the top where it says 79 beats per minute. And let's just see what that sounds like. Now for rehearsal purposes, I might find it more comfortable to work on this at, say, 60 beats in, um, per minute. And to do that, I click on the tempo line and drag it down to about 60. There we go. And so let us hear what that sounds like. I can do exactly the opposite and I can make the tempo faster. Let's say that Sousa was working on this piece and he wanted it at 120, which is sometimes considered March tempo. It might sound like this. Okay, yes, ridiculously fast. If I take it back to 80 beats per minute, I can also uh, add points, uh, okay, 79 beats per minute. I'm going to double click on the tempo line and you notice a point will appear. I can now drag the second line up and it will then, I can set it at 120. So the first part where the line is at 79 beats per minute, then it'll jump up to 120. And let me add another point and I can drag this back down to, let's drag it down to um, 60 beats per minute. And now what will happen is when I choose play, it will start at 79 beats per minute, then jump up to 120 and come back down to 60. If you watch the tempo indicator here at the top, it will jump and show you the tempo indicator. Do you notice it just changed to 79 as I move the playhead? And here's what that sounds like. And that's how you change tempos in GarageBand. 